Hello. So today I stumbled upon one of these events that you guys have to pay for. You have to buy a ticket and you get to go and you get to be in a room full of entrepreneurs. You get to listen to great lessons by entrepreneurs. And I really got excited. But more on the other side, I also really got irritated. And maybe irritation is a bit over um, a, a bit of a stretch. I'm a bit frustrated by these things because a lot of us attend these seminars by these famous motivational speakers, by entrepreneurs from overseas, entrepreneurs from South Africa who are doing really amazing things. And that's kind of like where it ends. You know, one of the motivational speakers, the well-known speakers that we have in South Africa said something that was very, very profound. He said that he will always and forever be in business because he will always have people that he needs to motivate and inspire. Because what happens is on the day of the talk, everybody gets riled up, people get pumped up and they really get re really inspired for the rest of the night. They end up spending the next few hours networking, taking pictures with the right people, people that they usually don't have access to, right? They take pictures, they post up these amazing amazing captions on, on on social media they will maybe quote some of the amazing and really inspiring things that these entrepreneurs have said and literally the hype kind of dies down throughout the night and if you are lucky this person will be still be inspired by the next morning and um they will still you know they'll, they'll try and keep up that excitement oh my gosh my life is about to change i'm about to tackle this big thing in my life and then a few hours later, a few days later, they go back to their normal lives, to their nine to fives, to their small businesses, to their hustling. Some of them are unemployed. And it just seems to me like a really total waste. These are the same Joburg people, by the way, who love to say, let's go catch, let's go get some coffee or something. I want to run something past you or like something like, okay, no, don't you want to have lunch and we have a business meeting? And I'm just like, why are we having meetings? Why are we having meetings? If you really have something amazing to tell me, why are you not telling me on the phone? Unless I need to be signing an NDA, why are you not telling me right there and then? Why must we sit down, spend money in a restaurant, buying coffee that we don't even like, for me to listen to you discuss a business idea that you could have told me over the phone and we could have been done? Why? I don't understand. By the way, these are also the same type of people that will ask me for my personal number. Then I'll tell them, yeah, I can't give you my personal number because that really is my personal number. Then they'll say, okay, no, you can give me an email address. 80% of the people that I give my email address to never use it. Now, I don't know if people get caught up in the excitement of, oh my gosh, it's Nicolette. And I don't even know why, because I'm really not that great. Or they get excited, oh my gosh, I've just made Vusi Temba Choir. Oh my gosh, I've just made Lebu Gunguluza. I've just made this amazing person. And they get the contact details of these people and they never contact them. So, like, it, it, it confuses me greatly. And I'm like, in any case, when you go to these people, by the time you get to these people, have something that is solid. Don't be there sitting and saying, you know what, I'm really inspired by you and I really want to get into business. Because I just, I, personally, even me, I've done, I've made these mistakes where I meet these great people and I waste that opportunity. It's a wasted opportunity and I just, I, don't, I just don't get it. I don't get why I go through all that, all that, you know, shopping, all that praising, telling them how great they are. And then when it's crunch time, when it's time for me to deliver what it is that I need to tell this person, dololo, dololo, because I really actually don't know what I want from them. We get so excited to meet these people, but we don't actually even know what it is that we want from them. So I, I think that it's high time we started getting ourselves really pumped up with action plans, with serious action plans. The one thing that I've really realized that we actually lack as people is something called follow through. We do not follow through. We do not follow through on the plans that we make. Because as you sit there in these seminars, you start to think, you know what, that business could really work. You know what, if I just start small, this thing could really build up. But then we don't follow through. What do we do? We love talking shop. Oh, wow. We love having these meetings where we sit around a room with potential investors or we sit around a room with friends that could potentially help us to run our businesses or start our businesses or partner with us in our businesses and we will talk about this business. We will talk this business to the ground. As a matter of fact, the more we talk about it, the more we realize why this thing is actually not going to work. And it's just crazy. But you know what? Every single day, 
I've now counted every single day I get over 200 inbox messages and in those inbox messages I've got two questions that I get asked most of the time 80% of the time well except for now that you know we've put out the property stock sell stuff but 80% of the time these are the two questions that I get asked the first one is Nicolette I want to start a business to supplement my income but I don't know I don't have any idea of what to do please can you help and I'm like okay the second one is I have this business idea but I don't know where to start and you know what let's let's start with the first one firstly there is no secret well to business ideas people who are currently running their businesses they do not have a VIP access card to business ideas they just try out all their ideas what I really love is that the people that ask me this question are really young people who really have nothing to lose so why not why are you not starting this business you might as well just start because honestly speaking you actually have nothing to lose and if you're worried about money or funding then that business really should not be started because if any business that is is, is that if you are a new business person and you want to start a business the secret is always to start small and build this thing up and sometimes sometimes people think that when you say start small we mean that for the rest of the 20, 12 months that you're running no because for some people really starting small really really means that your business starts today and tomorrow you've got a big client <laughs> starting small doesn't always mean you must start small doesn't mean you must think small starting small is start off with a client find somebody speak to somebody i mean come on guys 90 percent of our business ideas are not original let's be honest 90 percent of our business ideas are never original this is the only time that i'm going to encourage you to copy 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 what um next door is doing. Copy what the person that you really admire and think that they're doing amazing stuff is doing. Just copy. Copy their business model. Copy everything if you must. The one thing that you must change is how you deliver that service. Is how you deliver that product. You make sure that your product and your service is distinguished and is better than that person. Because who's going to stop you from copying an idea? I mean, other than the things that are copywritten and, co and patented, but really, I mean, how many digital agencies do you know? How many photographers do you know? How many events coordinators do you know? How many supermarkets do you know? How many people are selling coffee, selling clothes, designing clothes? I mean, how many people are selling Avon, selling Forever Living, selling... Lasso tea, selling honey jewelry. Come on, guys. There are so many business ideas that are just sitting there waiting for you to tackle them. The idea is that you, as a consumer, need to ask yourself, what do I want to be delivered to me? What type of product would I like to be baited? What type of service delivery would I like? And that's the service delivery that you're supposed to go out there and deliver to the people. And that's really just what it is. Literally, it's bettering somebody else's business. And the one secret to business, oh, well, one of my one secrets to business is does your business respond to a problem is it offering a solution you know it's crazy when you meet people business people and you ask them what does your business do some people don't know they don't know what their businesses do because they don't know how to win pitches they've never been trained as to how do you win pitches how do you win pitches is your business idea needs to respond to a problem it's a solution your business idea is supposed to be a solution and that's really about it there's nothing more to it now the second question that I get asked, which really frustrates, frustrates me the most, is people who say, I've got this big uh, business and I would like to really start. And that for me is the secret to business. Start. S-T-A-R-T. -T. Start. Sizobana Pambili. Anything else will be fixed there. Pambili. Just start. Get that business started. If it means that we need to fix a few things along the way, we will fix them along the way. But really what's important is that your business needs to be started. So I'm going to say that there are incubators out there after incubators that offer free things. Some incubators actually offer you free office, free internet. Guys, they offer so many free things. Incubators are willing to teach you for free. I know that the Standard Bank incubator is willing to teach you everything from marketing to pitching to um branding to finding funding to finding access to market to finding clients and then what top it off they even add you on enterprise development list what more are you waiting for why would you not just start just start really go out go to fnb and register a business they now a partner to cipc the old Cipro, and they or the new Cipro, whatever it is and they can just register a business for you you get registered you get a business tax number you get a business account and you can lodge in names or your business ah uh, uh, guys come on really it really just means that you need to start by the way your business it's highly unlikely that your business is going to be a new world-changing innovation it really is something that you have 
probably copied from somebody or it's something that really is already being done so what's what's so difficult about you starting what's so difficult about people just starting you know yesterday i sat in one of my classes well i was supposed to be in a stats class but um i sat with this lady and i was telling her she was asking me what do you do so i'm like oh i'm a presenter i do a bit of generations here and there i'm a speaker i talk about financial literacy and then i said to her oh i also am a presenter on how tv and she's like oh how tv is a community station i said yes she says to me okay um you know actually i am a i'm a channel marketer or channel manager or whatever of one of a big brands in south africa really huge brands and um we're looking to go into community media and our agency is just really not doing a great job and i said to her guess what i nicolette am running a media buying agency in community media and right there and there i got my first client well maybe not my first client but i got my first client in a long time and let me tell you the reality is that you need to start the business get it registered go and and, and go to these incubation um, um and programs attend read books listen to the likes of Vusi Tempakwayo. Do what you need to do, but be ready. That client needs to find you ready. But the only way you can be ready is when you start. When people come to me and say, Nicolette, I have a business that does one, two, three, four. Then I say to them, oh, they say to me, I've got a business idea. Then I'm like, how far is this business idea being implemented? And they say, it's not even registered. I'm, I'm not interested. I can't help you. I can only help you once you say to me, the business is registered and it's ready to trade. Then I can look into helping you because then what we do is we start building your social network. We start building your social capital. We start finding you the right people. Because let me tell you, your client and your next customer is really sitting right next to you right now. Some of them are in your family. Some of them are your friends. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Just get started. Mwah, mwah.